medieval lost soul locations. In the entrance hall, as soon as you reach the fork in the road, if you take the right and go down the stairs, the soul's got to be located in the chest next to the waterfall. In the sleeping village, if you go to your right as soon as you enter, past the blacksmith and go towards the pier, you want to use this soul at the end of the pier. Now if you turn around and go through the secret entrance, run past the mayor's house and keep going forward, and behind this kind of uh, outhouse will be the next soul. In the graveyard, as soon as you enter, go to your right past the metal fence and the soul's got to be located on the other side. Carry on through the level until you reach this area with the uh, angel statue, you want to use the soul at this statue. At the very start of Scarecrow Fields, once you've reached the second hay bale, if you go to your left and go in between the two houses, the soul's got to be located in here. Carry on through the level until you reach this windmill where one of the blades is on fire. You want to use this soul just before you pass through the windmill. In Cemetery Hill at the very start, if you go to your left, past this lava and then go right to the back of this area will be your next soul. Now if you go through to the opposite side, you want to head towards the witch's cave. Um, if you go all the way into the uh, chamber with the pentagram, you use the soul in there. At the start of Return to the Graveyard, as soon as you pass the river, the soul will be on a hill. Further on the level, past the Skull Key door, if you head up the big hill in the middle of this area, you'll be able to use the soul between the two trees at the top of the hill. Inside this island, once you pass the room with all the bats, the next area will have a big hole in the middle of the room. Use the soul uh, right in front of the exit door. At the end of the level, the next soul's got to be located in the same cage as the mayor. In Pumpkin Gorge, once you reach this big open area, if you go to your left and head into this building with the wrong pumpkins, the soul's got to be located inside. Further on the level, you'll need to use an earth rune to reach the top of this big ramped hill. Use the soul at the very top of the hill. At the start of the Pumpkin Serpent, on the left hand side, if you go through past the tendrils, um, just next to the Witch's Cauldron will be the soul. And you want to use this soul right next to the dead Pumpkin King. At the start of the Hilltop Mausoleum, the soul is located on the right hand side between the last two pews. Continuing on through the level, you're wanting to go past the boss room and into the side room and um, use the soul next to the ghost. In the asylum grounds, right at the very start, you use the soul in between the hedges, um, basically in the crossroads. Taking the path straight ahead from the crossroad, as soon as you enter the gate, turn to your right and the soul is located in the corner. At the start of the Crystal Caves, once you come to this crossroads, if you go to your left and you want to use this soul right in front of this golden crystal. Now if you take the path to the right, the soul's got to be located on the left hand side up a ramp. In the pools of the Ancient Dead, shortly after the Ferryman, you'll come to this kind of square platform, you use the soul on here. As soon as you enter the marsh area, take the left hand side and then go to the middle path to reach the soul. In the gallows gauntlet, take the entrance to the right hand side of the exit, go straight ahead and slightly to the right to find the soul. Do the same as before, but this time go to your left and use the soul right in front of the fire door. In the lake, jump into the middle of the whirlpool and use the soul as soon as you land at the bottom. Carrying on underwater, you'll eventually surface and reach this area with a, a roof um, leaping as a ramp to go into an enclosed area. The soul's got to be located at the very corner of this area. At the very start of the Enchanted Earth, you'll have this gate on your left hand side that's locked. You have to free the shadow demons and then come back here and use the soul in front of the gate. After defeating the boss, the soul's got to be located on the very first tree stump. In the Haunted Ruins, go to the left of the fire gate to find the next soul. Just before you go into the area with the fire gate, if you carry on forwards and then go to your right, um, use the soul right in front of this kind of locked gate. In the ghost ship, as soon as you reach this area with a bunch of bouncy nets, if you jump in between them, so just fall down, the soul's got to be located on the crates.
near the end of the level you want to jump onto this middle rotating platform that's slightly broken and then jump onto the elevator on the left hand side. Um, once this has reached the top, uh, go to your right and use the soul in the middle of the bridge. At the very start of the time device, if you jump onto the clock in the middle of the area, um, you want to use this soul in the middle of the clock face. Carrying on through the level, you'll reach this area with a bunch of spinning sides. If you go to the path on the left hand side, uh, go across the walkway and then up the pipe. Um, once you're up the pipe, turn right around and the uh, soul's got to be located on the left hand side. In the entrance hall, in the very last room with the golden floor, you use the soul in the middle of the room. 